Hey guys, um, um, I'm going to start taking requests now, but I just wanted to show you how to make cheerleader pom-poms. If you have somebody who wants to be a cheerleader and they don't have any pom-poms, this is the place. Okay, what you're going to do is that you're going to get different colors of yarn. Different colors of yarn. I've got pink. My, it actually seems kind of better. Blue, it's actually kind of darker. Purple, darker. Red, this is red. And my shirt is red too. So it's like dark red, but let me see if I could adjust. No, it's not gonna adjust. So it might look kind of scarlet there, but over here in my house, it's red and yellow. Seems kind of pale. Okay, I chose these colors because um, I thought that they would be really cheerful. And since my friend wants to be a fat cheerleader, we're going to grab a bunch of the same. Ow. I just hit myself. A bunch of the same. Rip it. Since this is yarn, it's actually pretty easy to rip. Okay, where, where? Oh, and also keep neatly, cause then you forget where you, where your starter edge is. Okay. What you're gonna do is that you're gonna meet with. All you're gonna do is meet with the same string, and you do it in half and put it somewhere else and if it gets kind of knotted just pull it make sure it doesn't get knotted because that just ruins the pom pom what you're going to do is that you're going to align the edge Yo, there's a hair in my way you're going to align the end and the start you're going to keep on going until you have at least like two inches or as much as you want. I'm going to make mine two inches. Okay, let me go get a pair of scissors. I forgot. Oh, that's a lot. Sorry guys, I couldn't find any scissors, but I think there's some in the closet. Nope, there isn't any, but <laughs> as you can see, but you will have to cut all those. Find a pair of dumb scissors. Okay.
sorry that I do that a lot in my videos. Okay. All I found was a butcher knife. It's okay. You're not going to murder anybody. Okay. What you're going to do with your scissors is that you're going to cut the rounded edge. You're going to cut the edges. I took mine apart, so it should be a bit easier. Now you have two edges like this. Butcher knife. Yes, my mom is a butcher. <clears throat> yeah. Okay. Now what you do is that you do this on all the edges, like like the rounded edges like this. with the same color string or yarn whatever you're using this could also be um, tissue or ribbon now that you made like a fake hair accessory you're gonna do you're gonna put it down so it won't look like you tied it okay now with another type of color I hope that this comes loose because it is a just a ball of string or yarn yeah I think it's yarn just make sure like always make sure it's not knotted because if it's knotted if only one little part is knotted you will have to start over I swear you will have to start over So try not to get knotted. And if you do, just pull it. And this is knotted. But if you start to see a knot, take it out as fast as you can. Not as fast, fast as you can. Just try to take it out before it creates an even bigger knot. Because that is what we don't want. We don't want knots. Okay. the same color string 
again. Not it. Yeah. Try to tie it so it actually stays on. Because I've tried this before, like many, many other times, and I'm kind of an expert at this. But I used to have scissors and I can't find it and I, could, and I can't, don't know where they are because I'm a person. My sister lives with me and she has a child that always takes my scissors away. Okay. a different color of string, rip it, and tie the two colors together. Oh no, don't actually do that, I'm going to save that till the end. Okay. Now that you guys got it, now that you guys got it, you guys will be able to do it. And I can't fast forward right now, because I'm... Um, I can't, I just can't do it anymore, like it won't let me, so I won't be able to fast forward anymore like I used to, so sorry, I can't fast forward, it won't let me, it will take me out if I do, so sorry, I can't fast forward, but here I'm going to end the video, until the next episode, well until the next scene that I do. I'm going to do what PewDiePie does, but instead, high five. Oh, high five is only for the people that are going to join my um, link. I'm also a humongous help of PewDiePie. I'm a humongous help of PewDiePie, and you guys should subscribe to his channel and my channel. Because we're both awesome people. We're both really nice. The only difference about me and PewDiePie is um, that PewDiePie swears and I don't really swear a lot. That's our only difference. But PewDiePie, if you're watching this, I just want to tell you, bro, that you're awesome. And I hope that whenever you guys look up PewDiePie, you guys should watch Happy Wheels. It is happy. Until the next episode.